What's up, loves? It's your girl. Today's video is going to be something for you. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey, this is a 12 inch curly bob, okay? A curly bob. And the name of the company is Bam VIP Wig, okay? First of all, let me tell y'all, I like their packaging. Look at this box. Is this cute or what? This is so freaking cute, okay? And then you just take one of the handles here and you open it up and, like, you know what I'm saying? This is a nice box. It came with this nice little satin, okay? But it also came with elastic that I didn't use. And it came with a wig cap and a comb. But they do come with pre-plucked hairlines. This wig has a pre-plucked hairline. And it is, and it does, it does. It does have bleach knots throughout the lace. Because it's only a lace, okay? It's only a lace frontal. The lace is a 13 by 4 inch lace. It has pre-bleached knots. I did bleach some more of it because... I just need a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But it is pre-bleached in the lace area. You really didn't have to do much to it. it. It was bleached and it was looking good, but I just wanted a little bit more. They did say the elastic band was already added in the wig, okay? And it was actually, but they did give you an extra piece of lace, um, elastic. So, hey, thank you. So, I'm like, wait, what? So, it does have an elastic band already in the lace, which takes out the work for me. It does come with the standard comb. So it has three combs right here in the front. And then there's one in the back with the adjustable strap. Like I said, I got 12 inches because the last wig that I did was curly bob and it was 14 inches. So I just really wanted to try and see how it looked with a 12, or how I looked with a 12 inch bob. So I did condition it and I put in Carol's Daughter leave-in conditioner in it. That stuff works amazing on curly hair. Like seriously, I love it. I'm gonna take this here which is my Sally Hansen spray. I'm going to spray it on this plastic right here. Then I'm going to take the sponge. I don't know why it looks like. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to just use the Sally Hansen leg spray. I've had these cans for a couple of years. And for some reason, the color came out really reddish brown. So I'm just going to try to doctor it up with my pressed powder by Milani. And, you know, it's probably not going to work out to my favor. So we're just going to go with it for the meantime. And I'm going to just doctor the wig up at the end. And just to set that color in, I'm just going to use my Pub It Up hairspray along with a blow dryer just to just blow dry it down and just apply this curly bob so prior to this video i did wash pre-tweeze and bleach the unit or bleach the unit and then pre-tweeze it or pre-pluck it just to thin out the hairline just a little bit more you really don't have to because they do it ahead of time for you so that's really cool and in case you're wondering am i um doing this video after my surgery i'm actually recorded this video prior to my surgery so i did have Quite a few videos or i do have quite a few videos that i do have to edit so what a great time now while i'm relaxing for a couple of weeks is just to edit and post my videos so as you guys seen i did cut some of the hairs on the side because i do like my sideburns and i'm just going to use my dollar tree styling mousse just to sculpt my sideburns down i'm not going to be cutting any baby hairs in the unit because it's not like i'm really over the baby hairs but I'm somewhat over them like you know like I like them but I don't really like them pasted down to my face like that or my skin like I just rather have like some little flyaway wispy hair so that's what I mainly do now um, but just to adhere the wig and make sure that the wig is sticking on my head I'm just gonna take my pump it up super hold hairspray and I'm going to spritz that on the entire frontal hairline of the unit where the lace is at and just take my blow dryer on cool and use my tail end of my comb to press into the lace so that way it will dry onto the lace or the product will dry and you know it'll be on for a few days and I'm just going to repeat the same same method on the opposite side which is cutting my sideburn sculpting my sideburn 
as well as, you know, adhering the wig, putting the blow dryer on and pressing it into the hair. So this portion right here, I'm just gonna take the nozzle end of the blow dryer and I'm gonna press it into my hair. I'm just going to make the hairline a lot more flatter to my actual head so that way it looks more natural. I don't want it all puffy in the front. Plus you can also do like a really nice part. And if you don't have a hot comb, you can also use this method here. It will also allow the wig to dry even tighter to your head so that way it stays on a little bit longer. So as you guys know, this is just a lace frontal and the reddish portion that you see right here is actually the wig cap that is from the makeup. This is not the actual lace of the wig, that's actually from the lace cap. And I just should have removed it, but you know, I will doctor it up throughout the video. And I'm just going to take my mousse and put it into the part of the wig of where I want the part at. And I'm just going to take my blow dryer and smooth it down. As I stated, it will give you like a nice sleek part. So the hair is really, really soft and I do like it a lot. It's full, the density is great. And they did a really good job on the pre-pluck portion. Now, as you guys seen, I am going to go ahead and doctor it up with my Lancome's pressed powder for the actual wig cap. Had I not done that with the Sally Hansen spray well, we wouldn't have this problem. But you really don't need any makeup for their actual wigs. You can just go ahead and, you know, wear them as is, especially if you didn't mess up your wig cap. But girl, for 12 inches, you know, I don't really do 12 inches. This is a nice unit. I don't really do bobs because I have a long head, but I will do like a curly bob because it kind of takes away from the longevity of my head. Like, yes, I know, I said the longevity of my head. Um, it really doesn't look like 12 inches. It looks like more or less like 14, but for the most part, it's a nice unit. This here, first of all, let me tell y'all, Carol's Daughter's Leave-In Conditioner for Curls, Coils, coils and Waves is like the bombest leave-in conditioner ever. Like, seriously, I'm not sure why I have not used this product before, but I absolutely love it. It makes your curls, the texture is just so different versus without it. I can't even explain it, but it just tames it. It keeps it like in place. It makes it look neater. Like I absolutely love that stuff. I just left like little wispies. I didn't do no baby hairs. I just left like little wispies. Of course, I have to have my sideburn right here. Now, the only downfall and the reason why I had to use the makeup is because this stuff right here, did not work this time now this is the light glow this is the light one this is the one i always use and for some reason it's coming out like this reddish color it kind of like messed up my wig cap you see how it gave me like a darker color last time i used it, it gave me the exact same color and maybe because it's old i've had these pans for like some years so that's the reason why i put the makeup on because the wig cap was kind of like a reddish tone and back here i didn't have to do any of that because that's where there wasn't any of the airbrush Sally Hansen but okay so they do have like a thin hairline so it's a pre-plucked hairline of course I did do my own adjustments to it um when I washed it let me tell you something I was surprised like literally surprised that it did not shed like seriously when I first bleached the knots and then I washed it out and conditioned it it did not shed at all and I was just like the hair texture is great. It's soft. I love this Carol's Daughter stuff in it. Like, seriously. And it's nice and full. Like, you know. So it is 12 inches. And honestly, it doesn't really look like 12 inches to me. It reminds me of the last one that I did that was 14 inches. There's really no difference to me in them. But they're both really, really cute. Okay. This one is a little bit more silkier texture. Which is cool because if you're not into like it to be like a little bit hard, harder texture or more curlier, then that's cool. You can easily like this to me is like curls and waves, this, this type of bob. But you know, the packaging is out of this world. Like I really do like the packaging. And the fact that I just didn't have to do any baby hairs with it. Just some little wispies on the side, you know. Hey, that looks, I think it looks a lot more natural like that. Opposed to just like gluing and pasting down your baby hairs all the time like it's cute too that is really cute too but it all depends on the look that you're going for so being that it's short um and it's 12 inches i mean i'm wondering what other styles could i possibly do with this unit um i've never had like a high low bun with short hair i don't know how that's going to look now keep in mind this is not going to be the perfect bun because y'all see i didn't even part this sucker
so you can get it in a bun. It just depends on your preference. It still looks cute, but I think like when I do like the buns on the top, I do want them to be like I do like the surrounding hair to be a lot longer. But it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Okay. So it doesn't stay as curly because it's more or less like a wavy slash curl type of thing. But it still is cute. Um, these curly bobs. You know what? I don't like the curly bobs. Like. If it's going to be a bob, it has to have curls in it or else I'm not going to do it because I told you guys, like this is suitable for my head. Had it been straight, well, let's just forget about it. I would be looking just like a potato head. But this one here by VIP Wigs is really cute. So you guys, on that note, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think of this, you know, unit right here. Do you like the length, the texture, the, the presentation, all that, you know let me know below okay so i love you and i will see you guys all in a soon to come video make sure you share this with everybody even though those people that you don't like on your instagram snapchat facebook wherever i love you guys and i will see you all soon